from bold and vibrant Moroccan fashion captured by Hassan Hajjaj to the more abstract works of Sarah Moon. Curators at Fotografiska says its exhibitions offer something for everyone. At any given time you'll be seeing fashion photography, fine art conceptual work, portraiture, maybe something a little bit more street photography, um, black and white photography, um, also a lot of digital and installation works. Fotografiska is open until 9pm during the week and before Covid-19 hit it was open even later. The idea is to make the space more accessible and create a more relaxed atmosphere. It's the same philosophy adopted by the original Fotografiska that opened in Sweden over a decade ago. It's democratizing the art experience. So I think when you, you make something more fun and interactive and entertaining, and especially with the medium of photography, that, you know, that adds value to people's lives and they would have, they're getting to experience a museum in a totally different fashion than they otherwise would. Fotografiska puts on more than a dozen shows a year, frequently providing audiences with new works to enjoy. This exhibition features more than 120 images, providing an insight into Andy Warhol's career. Many of the pictures on display here are from private collections, rarely seen by the public. And curators say a number of Warhol's seminal works come from photos like these. This visual diary offers an insight into his experimentation. Everything that he was doing in his career came from photography. So we have Polaroids on display, photo strips, collages, silver gelatins, and then these really amazing stitch photographs. But the museum offers more than just an opportunity to view artwork. As well as the exhibitions, Fotografiska also offers visitors the chance to eat, drink and relax. It's part of an effort to provide a more inclusive and casual experience compared to some more traditional museums. In September, Chapel Bar began serving Fotografiska's members. This converted chapel connects to the museum, allowing patrons to relax and enjoy the space or take their drinks through to the exhibitions. We want it to be an experience where a full hospitality, art and culture uh, is encompassed. So uh, that is why we would like to allow uh, our, our patrons to take drinks into the museum. Fotografiska also hosts a number of programmes ranging from comedy shows to meditation and film screenings. Organisers say hospitality is in itself an art form and the whole museum is the canvas. William Denzelow, CGTN, New York.